Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to No Man's Sky. Elon Paul here. We're doing our permadeath playthrough to the center of the galaxy. As you know, we've completed the Artemis missions, and we're on to the Atlas missions, but we're actually going to do Atlantid after this because we just got that mission added to our repertoire. Um, as you know, we've landed on a dissident planet where I almost got my butt handed to me, um, but we're in good shape, so that's good. So I'm going to start, I'm going to continue on from here. I needed some supplies so I could repair my ship. So I'm going to pull in the ship now. I think I can do it. Let me try it. Yes, we can. All right, and we're going to see if we can't repair it now. I don't have enough wiring looms maybe to fix everything, but I should be able to get the crystallized heart. So let me do that. And I've already got the pugnium, so that's repaired now. I need my shield. I needed two inverted mirrors, which I had six of them, so that's good. Um, and then we need, let me see here, the engine. What else do we need? Hold on. We need this working. I need a harmonic brain. Well, that's going to be fun. So I can't do all the repairs. Crimson core. Let's go ahead and get you going. And you. Salvaged glass. We just got some. Okay. So all the basics are fixed. Um, let's get our weapons online. we got enough pugnium now to last a lifetime. Okay. This would be a good idea for the time being, only because I don't have enough to get by. Okay. Alright, this is a little bit better. I'm going to get this one going. We can do that one. I want to get the shields up, because that's going to be very, very important right now. We don't have enough chromatic metal. That's weird. Oh, I know why. Uh, we put it in here. And I'm going to eat that. Because we needed it. Okay. Let's get out. We'll come back over to you, and hopefully we'll have this repaired now. Yeah, we need the harmonic brain. That's going to be a fun one, because we can't fly the ship without it, unfortunately. But let's get all this other stuff going. We need a... Uh, we need cadmium to get that going. Unfortunately, we don't have any, so I cannot increase the output of my weapons on this ship. We can fix this. We have the microprocessors to do it. Let's go ahead and do the economy scanner. Uh, what is that? Just ferrite dust? Yeah, whatever. Uh, we need silver, and we need antimatter to fix the teleport receiver. Let's get the antimatter. We can do that. Okay, good. Uh, we have chromatic metal. Let's fix that. All right, shields are up. Hyperdrive. Not as concerned about that as other things. The thrusters. Yeah, it would be kind of nice to get that up and running, but we need so much for that. What do we need for these? We need wiring looms, which we don't have. We can get them from the space station. Let's go ahead and repair them up with what we have real quick. And... What about you? Can't do anything with you. You? Yes. Because we can get them from the space station, like I said. What else? This? We have chromatic metal. Let's go ahead and use it. And then we're running low. And you're left. We got radiant shard and inverted mirror. Let's go ahead and do them real quick. Alright, that uses them up. So all we need is the harmonic brain to fix it. And then we're done with that. So, since we have the other brains, we just need to look for it. So we're going to have to go to one more dissident system at this point. Is there anything else on that ship that requires anything that we have now? No. Okay, good. Phew, that was fun. Uh, we're going to put this in that ship because we don't need it here. I'll hang on to this for now. We're going to put this in the ship. Put that in that ship. I'm going to hang on to you for now, too. Okay. Alright, we're in better shape than we have been in a long time. So we cannot fly this ship. We're going to have to find one more dissident planet in order to do that. So before we do that, we're going to go ahead and jump in here, and I'm going to start gathering up resources from all the sentinels that should be dead. So this planet should have a lot of buildings on it. So we're going to scout out... I don't have anything of worth... And if they don't like it, I'll land. Thank you. Huh. This 
hoping to find some buildings around here. Even a trading outpost would be kind of nice. You know, we could have uninstalled the economy scanner for my other ship. That might have worked. Oh, hello. What are you? Well, why not? Let's go ahead and land. At the very least, it might find us something. Okay. I don't know if this is the freighter version of it, though. We'll take a look. Nanites, grab them. Grab them while you can. Okay. Two forty times five. So right off the top of my head, looking at twelve hundred. Right? So five. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got that wrong. That was stupid. It was 1440, wasn't it? Uh, I wasn't even thinking. How embarrassing. It's okay, it's in the video. For posterity. I'm trying to find... possibly a site that had... sentinels at it, that we can gather up resources. It works better on a dissident planet, because... Is that a monolith? It is. Monoliths are good. Oh, land already, would you? Good grief. Make a big production out of it. Because you can get technology from the Monocasian for free. And it's a Viking one, so this is not anything special. Let's get the words. Uh, sequence of dots. One comes a wide welcoming letters from handwritten in Hearthstone. Certain blood of ancient handprints cover the base of each column. The ruins, the dots, or the letters. Letters are free flowing. The dots are probably Corvax. The letters are probably Gek. The ruins are going to be Viking. Let's go with one. The warrior descendants. There we go. See? A little bit of knowledge. At least I got something right today. Did I get anything else out of it? No? That's it, huh? Well, alright then. Worth a shot. Well, probably words. Yeah. Really? Not enough launch fuel in the thruster at 28% to launch this? All right, what's this? And why didn't I see it before? Okay, that's an animal. All right, so this is no place special except some items, I think. It's got the satellite dish thing on top that swir swivels, so that's going to be a freighter crash. Let's go over here. Yeah, that's the one I was looking at. And what is that? It's a drop pod. That's not the one I was looking at. There was another one over here, and I don't see it now. We will land at the drop pod, but I thought there was another building, like right here, where there happens to be a random base computer. Isn't that interesting? Come on, keep going. We will hit the drop pod. I just want to look, take a look around real quick. Alright. We'll hit that, but I'm going to go ahead and land here at this parking space instead. So we don't land, uh, waste any launch fuel. Ugh. Like I said, it takes so long to land. Monolith is where we were already at. We're going to go ahead and read you, my friend. Make sure you're not going to... Attack me. Seven creatures. Two. Take a look around real fast. Any flying ones? 
Not in that direction. All right, let's head over there. So this episode is mostly going to be grinding. We're looking for stuff. We want to get our ship repaired. And then we're going to find a way to it. Because we have to find another dissident uh, system. In order to be able to get our uh, brains not working, if you will. i got to get the brains working properly. Highline brains, i got to get them harmonized. There we go. Alright, so what do we need? We need these and one of these. Do we have any? Yes, we do. Okay, good. Oh, wrong one. Go to the other side. There we go. Good shape. Upgrade our suit here. Let's work our way down and get all those filled in. It's also Atlanted, as you can see by the fog. Doesn't look like there's anything over here of my of any value whatsoever. Oh, I already saw those, huh? What else we got? Seven creatures, and I'm only seeing three. Or two? Not even flying creatures, either. Weird. Alright. Really thought we had another building somewhere really close by, but I don't see anything. Very odd. Okay, let's head out. And what do we have there? Curious deposits, runaway mold, we'll take it. That'll get us more nanites. Maybe not a whole ton of them, but... There we go. Any more? No, no stars, there's none on the ground. Sometimes you have some underground, so you gotta watch for it. Yeah, it tells me all my slots are full, too. I just noticed that. go. Where it stops, nobody knows. Cross the gap. Find the gap. Alright. No other creatures. I can't believe this. There's literally two creatures we've found so far. I know this is a water planet, though, so let me just check that real quick. Let's see, so ground, ground, flying, and then two underground. No, there's no water here. My bad. Okay. Well, so be it. Okay. So, our inventory is full. Holy mackerel, I didn't know we had that much. I had no idea. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, let's put these in our ship for now. Including you. That'll be good. Wow. Okay. Well. There. So we'll keep loading it up as we go and we can get some more nanites out of that. Let's search around. We're looking for a few more... Um... Buildings. Hopefully one was a structure that had sentinels at it. I like how I'm doing scans like this. And every now and then it does not sense the buildings. Like here, we just found another sentinel pillar. Let 
Or is this the same one? This is the same one. I'm going the wrong direction completely, but I just realized I missed a barrel behind me. So, let's grab that. Hard frame engine. Good gravy, I can't believe I missed that. Health at maximum. Alright, good deal. So, I'm kind of glad I stopped back. I should have looked around and made sure there weren't any supplies laying around anywhere. And we got another animal over there. That's good. And one over there. Alright, I don't see any more supplies anywhere. Okay, got him. Combat supplies, right over there. And it looks like some nice ships there, including a solar ship, B-Class, nice. Alright, any anybody else, anybody else, any more animals? Okay, nothing so far. And we got a building up there, an unknown building up there. Let's check that out and see what it is. I just might Tom and Jerry it, that way I'm not going to use any launch fuel. Ah. Really wish that guy would replace all his divots. But I destroyed him, so it is what it is. Glad I got my person fixed. Uh, aha! That's what I'm looking for. Excellent. Because the best part about this is... How's my inventory? Look, let me take a look real quick. So I don't know how much inventory we have left. Yeah, it's not a lot. We have two pieces of inventory left. So what I'm going to do... We only have one pure ferrite. Yeah, goodbye. Let's put you up there. Put you over here. That gives us three spots available. Anything else we can do? Uh, let's see. We got quite a bit of that. We really don't need the signal booster. We can make a new one. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. And I'll put you down here. So that gives us four spots available. Okay. Gold. Sulfurine, which is useless to us. Nitrogen salt actually is very expensive stuff. We might grab that. And dirty bronze. Right? Is that what this is? Oh, wrong one. Dirty bronze. Nitrogen salt. Nitrogen salt. Okay. Gold is okay. We could use gold because I know some things in our inventory require it. There we go. Okay. More projectiles, things like that. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Just a second here. Okay, so let's see what else we got. So we got everything. The, the, the sulfurine is useless to us. Absolutely useless. There's no reason even to grab any. Alright, so that's cool. We got some good stuff out of this. Because this stuff's worth quite a bit. 400000 and 125000 I mean, you can't really pass that up, right? What do we get out of that? I don't even know. Got something. Yeah, okay. That'll work. Okay. Uh, 
you know what? I just realized I need to get back in there one more time. Pull you out. Get that started. Okay. And we're out of there. Okay. Is there any other buildings or something located nearby? There is. Son of a gun. Another building. Okay, good. Any damaged machinery here? I do not see any. There's another animal over here. Oh, it's right there on the surface. Okay, good. Got that one. Four of seven. Supposedly there is a flying creature. There we go. Got it. Okay, so that's five. And then we have two undergrounds. Unless I've just found an underground, I don't know. Okay. Let's see what this building is. So these are the kind of things I've been looking for. I'm looking for these buildings like that because we can get a lot of good stuff from them. Uh, what do we got over here? That is a selling terminal. How interesting. Well, you know what? Let me go ahead and take advantage of it. Trade terminal, I should say. Other side. My, my apologies. Sorry, I didn't mean to be on the wrong side there. Nitrogen salt. Gone. Good. Uh, let's see. Runaway mold is not worth terribly much, but it's worth something. We're going to hang on to the hard frame engine. We need that later on, so... Dirty bronze... We'll hang on to the uh, antimatter. We can make some more stuff out of that. Hyperdrive fuel. Okay, good. Oh, what else did you have to buy? I should really check that. Launch fuel. What else? You got phosphorus. Okay, nothing special. Thank you very much, sir. Grab some supplies and we'll move on. Okay, so what else we got? Any other buildings nearby suddenly... And without warning, we can have tons and tons of buildings. Okay, no. So let's go ahead and head back. Uh, you know what? No, we're not going to head back. I'm going to pull my ship in. Alright, so how are we doing? It looks like we're doing okay. Um, let's put this in the inventory space in there. And I'm going to put this in there too while I'm thinking of it. Okay. Is that? I don't think we can repair just this second. Okay. Alright, excellent. Let's move on. So the next thing we need to do, we need to go to another system. So let's do that real quick. I think we're done here. We have enough... Uh, enough stuff, if you will. So I don't think we need anything else. So we should be in good shape. We took advantage. We got what we needed. We're going to move on. Wish we could have gotten more, but it is what it is. I think our hyperdrive should have enough juice to find us one more dissonant system. Dissonant. I always do that. I don't know why. Uh, let's see here. And it's taking us to an atlas system. That's funny. Oh, uh, you know what? Wait a second. Current mission? Yeah. That's the system it wants to take us to, and it happens to be Corvax and Dissonant. Perfect. So, we can progress with this mission at the same time. Alright, so we're in a dissonant system. Let's see where it's taking us. Oh, right to that planet right there. Guarantee you it's a dissonant planet as well. Watch this. 
There you go. And it's a lava planet. Okay, good. That means we have creatures and stuff on this planet, which means we're going to find buildings. In turn, we'll find ships. Because we have to find a hijacked ship in order to be able to... Or a crashed sentinel ship in order to be able to get what we need out of this. So we'll continue going with it. All right, let's pull back out. Oof. This was a tough, tough, tough thing to do. Sorry, a little quieter uh, here due to the fact that I can't seem to get through that I'm recording stuff, so I'm getting a lot of messages suddenly and for no reason. Not no reason, but. Okay, so proximate source is there. Okay, there's a building up there. Let's go ahead and check that out. Maybe we have a landing pad. That'll be kind of nice. A lot of rumbling going on. Maybe the worm passed over or something. Nope, oh, economy scanner. All right, well, we'll do that. And it looks like we found exactly what we're looking for as well. So before we do anything... Starship, is it in here? There it is. Hopefully one close by. Okay. But in order to get our... Okay, we need to go that way. We have missed it completely. Alright. And the other place that we're looking for is about a thousand blocks that way. So, behind us. Alright, let's bring it down up. Well, let's bring it over here. This will be fine. Just wherever. And then we're going to search. That way. Which we will go... Yeah, okay, over there. Two hundred blocks straight in front of us. Strange that we're not seeing anything. Oh, there is something down there. It's a campsite. Okay then. So how's our inventory look? We should have plenty of room in here right now. Good. Uh, while we're here, I'm gonna have to remember to do this every time. We're only getting 50 nanites at a time, but it's something, you know? Do -do -do. If any of you are familiar with this, gather everything from the wheelbarrows, because it's handy little stuff. It may not be great stuff, not always, but sometimes you get some decent things. I just got some indium out of that, come on. And another Sentinel Boundary map. I can't... I, that's fantastic. Uh, I just got a Suspicious Hyperdrive module. That's good. And that just gave me some money or some nanites or something, so that's good. Vis viscous fluids. Yeah, it's up to you. I don't really need that. Okay, we'll put you guys up here. Okay. Yeah, tell me about it, right? Rare item. No kidding. That's good stuff. Alright, so this should get my Atlantid autophage going here. Speaks in the same mechanical voice that accompanied the hijacked attempt upon my ship. However, the sounds it makes are words language. I do not understand what is being said. Poke it? <laughs> That's hilarious. Scan the head, speak to the head. How about we speak? It'll speak back. I am certain the autophage is trying to communicate something. Say you don't understand. 
Uh, I don't have any Atlanta DM on me. Let me get some... I need to pull my ship in, whether I like it or not. I don't think I can, right? Nope, you're too low of a charge. You know what? I put it in the other ship, didn't I? That's right, I did. Okay. Alright, let's pull the other ship in just for now. We'll have to go back to that one. Diem. Sparkling sound like electrical wires short-circuiting echo somewhere within the head. Suddenly my exosuit reports receive a set of local coordinates. Do not trust this head, but these coordinates seem my only clue toward understanding what it is trying to communicate. Okay. Alright, good deal. Good deal. Alright, so we got coordinates. So harmonic echo is the one that I did earlier, and we have autophage coordinates over there. But before we leave... Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I do that first and jump out, and then I go to there. So, 16, 5, and 11. Yeah, I got it right this time, right? Uh, it was 5, 5, 16, and 11. So we're going to deactivate the multi-tool source. We're also going to locate another ship. Okay, which we've already located one, so I don't know if it's going to show us both now, or if I just wasted one, but we'll find out. Okay, we got all three now. That's great. So now we have a ship that we can go to. Uh, let's see what this is. C-Class, nothing special. Yeah, I'll hold off on that for now. Okay. So this ship isn't going to help us at all, so I'm stuck somehow. I don't know what I'm stuck on there. Let's go to our other ship over here. Ow. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Gravitino balls, huh? There we go. Off we go. So we'll recharge the thrusters for the next visit. So the autophage is... See, this is closer than the autophage. Let's go to this one first. Oh, we get another campsite, so we'll go ahead and do that. Come on. Good grief, man. Land already. Never seen two campsites so close to each other, but. Really? I got pure ferrite out of that. And I got silver out of it, so let's put that in my ship. I don't know what I got out of that. Probably nanites. There. How did that happen? There. Okay, that's better. Get rid of that. Okay, what else do we got? Okay, it looks like everything. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about him. I'll check out the next multi-tool, because you never know. It might be better than what I've already got. Boink. So, 27 minus 13 is 14. Uh, 14 and then 3 and then 9. 14, 3, 9. And 4. Oh, that's 15. Darn it. Stop that. Oh my gosh.
There we go. Uh, yeah, to undo that. And we'll let us find another ship. Let's find out. I'm curious. So we already got one ship, right? I am curious. So how many dissonant spikes are we going to find? Okay, so there's the other. Or is that the same ship? I don't know. It could be. I have that ship. Let's go do a roundabout. Okay, it only finds one ship for me. Okay, so that's okay. We may have lost a ship, but no big deal. Okay, let's head on. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use that. On thrusters, go. All right, who's closer? The ship or the autophage? It's an hour away, so we're going to go to the autophage. So, once we do this episode, once we do, once we do the autophage coordinates here, we'll head on to the ship and we'll check it out, uh, see if we can get our harmonic brains and repair the ship we have or take a new ship because we can take the, the ship we had and we can sell it and make some money on it if we can get a better ship out of it. Wow, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool archive. Stuff everywhere here. All right, what do we got here? Ah, okay, monolith. Land. Wow, good gravy. Do do do. Boy, this looks familiar. Okay, here we go. The extracted coordinates led quite precisely to this hidden plinth, though it is clearly not the primary interface for the ancient structure. Ancient glyphs are carved around the circumference of the stone dais, an opening yawns expectantly in the center. We're going to offer Atlantidium. Atlantidium crackles and bursts. The dormant, a dormant energy rumbles from within the structure. Hello. Oh, okay. I don't remember that. That was really cool. The structure was unmistakably constructed by Corvax as a monument to their people, yet I have no sense of being... No sense of being observed by Corvax echoes. It is as though the monolith has inverted, its insides turned outwards. Something else is here, another type of entity. We won't understand a thing here. My mind folds. The molecules of this planet disassemble into a cloud of chaos, then reconstruct themselves into new surroundings. I am thrust into a perspective that is not my own. So do we look behind, stay in the present, or look ahead? I say we look behind. I gaze into the distance behind me. Reality tilts and the vision shifts. I am grounded in my body, aware of the breeze on my cheeks, the soil beneath my toes. My mind is healthy and ambitious and strong, organizing theories and solving problems with ease and pleasure. Suddenly, unexpectedly, I am shredded from my shell. My mind is in tatters. What little is left of me shivers in a dark, rusty nowhere, as, the, as some other entity, fat and whole, claims the body that was mine. The pain is terrible. The image fades. I am suspended in darkness. I'm going to stay in the present now. I try to focus on my surroundings. Reality lurches and a vision takes shape. I am a fragment of consciousness, raw and incomplete and alone, yet unafraid. I am finally free, unshackled from my tyrannical rule that has confined me all of my existence. I crawl through the dark, sensing others shaped like myself. We link ourselves together, just enough to become whole. We form an alliance, but not a convergence. Learned another word. The images fade. I am suspended in darkness. Look ahead. I gaze into the distance ahead as though peering through time itself, the vision transforms. In the vacuum of deep space, something rattles into existence, manifesting matter where there was none before. The purple light is blinding. She is glorious. She is reborn. She is not alone. I fall to my knees, humbled, gratified, awed. Reality is restored. I am returned to my own body, my own mind. The structure offers me a final packet of data, a listing of glyphs enumerated in the language of this inverted monolith. Extract. This is the same language spoken by the head at the abandoned camp. Perhaps I am now better equipped to understand it. Numbers 1 through 16. How interesting.
Okay. So this isn't doing anything more. Eh, polyglot. Funny. Alright. Converse with the autophage head. So we're supposed to return there. We're going to hold off on that for just a minute. And we are going to go on to the ship. And we'll come back. So let's go up. And take a quick jaunt there. Check out the ship. And we'll end our episode at the autophage camp. a building there too, huh? Fascinating. Tempting. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Is that thing black or is it just the color of the atmosphere here? Oh, man. That is one cool looking ship. Check that out. That's mean looking almost. Eh, it's a C-Class again. That's the only problem. But we'll get what we can out of it. Let's go ahead and pull stuff. So we got a Highland Brain again. More Salvage Glass. And we'll go ahead and take the Pugnium while we're at it. Alright. Uh, we don't really need to do this unless there's something in there. No, it's nothing worth our time. Oh, it's taking us to find a Radiant Shard. We'll go ahead and grab it, but... I am going to grab the Radiant Shards for now, because we could use some. The Atlanta Diem, not as much. I could use some of that. Go ahead and grab it. Uh. It wants us to find more Radiant Shards, apparently. There we go. And now we got plenty of this stuff, right? Okay. Next. Right there. It's trying to find us all the things we need in order to repair the ship. But really, we just need to get the Hylian brain moving along. Thought I'd grab one extra. Hey, why not, right? Because it was kind of cool, wasn't it? I do feel like an idiot about the math problem. Uh, and done. Okay, back the other way. Just let them complain about it for a minute. One more minute, one more second. And done. Okay. Uh, let's go to our ship. Whoa, almost, almost landed hard. And over here. So we're not going to take that ship. It's a pretty ship, don't get me wrong. If I could find a, like an A-class version of it, I'd be really, really happy right about now. Okay, so where are we going? Oh, that way. It's over there. Not far at all. And then we'll be able to pull in my main ship and fly it away, and I can cancel this. We are... I, I'd like to find a ship like that. If I could find a ship that, like the one that's on that planet... Oh, wow, I mean, 
That would be a great ship to find, man. If I can get a better class, though. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Hylian Brain turned into what we need. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to read all this. We're going to get past it. Present the Brain. We've done this before in an earlier episode. Okay, so we now have a Harmonic Brain. Can we open this? We can. Can we check things out? It's gonna. It's requiring 23 instead of 16 on the normal run. That's interesting. Let's see if we can get a. Yeah, we can. We can get a, We can get one of these out of this. I'll take it. Do we have the room. Can we just buy it? Yes, we can. We can buy it. All right. So we got one already per se, but this would be so much nicer. All right. Right? Do we? Wait a minute. It is a different multi-tool. Cool. Okay, let's go back to our current one. This one. Arc injector. Yeah. And we'll come back to this in a little bit. Alright, and... Yeah, I don't need to do anything more there. So what we're gonna do, let's pull in our other ship. Not yet. Is I just getting attacked or something? Oh, it's a worm. See, I thought there was a worm. I could have swore there was earlier. Let's pull stuff out of our ship up there. We've got a good amount of things here. Um, we got the harmonic brain. Is there anything I can just toss on the ship instead? See, we got so much stuff in our inventory. And not enough room to do anything else. And we really need some things out of here. All right, we'll just have to go back and forth a few times. Let's go ahead and pull in the ship. We want it fixed. Uh, right there. Not you. Really? You're going to do that to me right now? Unbelievable. We are going to get this to work, and I'll show you how we'll do it. I refuse refuse to be mollified on this one. We're already past the time I wanted to spend on this video, but that's okay. Because we're going to do it in the anomaly. You're going to be a jerk. I can be just as much of a jerk. I know the ship is on the planet someplace. I get that, because I pulled it in from another gal another solar system, but come on. Do that to me. Ugh. Dare you. Okay, so we should be able to switch ships. There we go. Now we should be able to fix it. It is now operational. And now we should be able to start repairing the rest of the ship. So why don't we exit this, this ship with this, uh, this buddy. And we will bring in our solar ship and pull all the stuff off board. So we've got our hunter back. Yay! And before we get started here, because you can see we've got places to go here, let's go hit the space station. We'll end our episode on the space station. So I'm going to do some repairs to this while we're gone. So between this episode and the next one, I'll repair up this, the rest of the ship. I don't get all the materials I need to get it fixed up. There's no reason to show you all that. So I think we did pretty good on this episode. It was crazy on the last one. This one was just a grind for the most part and trying to get things to work. But I'm glad we got where we got and that things are working now. So at least that's something. Um, oh, it would be really bad if I had something on board that was bad. Ah, thank heavens. As I'm in bad shape right now, I need to get things fixed. <laughs> Can we scan that one, too? Yep, got that one now, too. Good. All right. So this should do it. I am going to go back to that planet. We're going to spend a little bit of an episode looking for a new ship. Because I want to, I think, get a better ship than the one I've got. I do want to repair this anyway. Because I'm a little bit uh, OCD when it comes to that. I'd just like to have this thing fixed up and ready to go. 
So we're going to land. We're going to call the end of the episode. And we'll see you in the next one. So this should be slipping into January now. And we'll be seeing you folks in the new year. Uh, hopefully you didn't miss out on a couple of those anomaly missions. Because I was out of town for at least two of them. So anyway. We'll pick up the next week into the next episode. And we'll go from there as far as next anomaly video is too. Anyway folks. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you again in the next episode. Take care. Please, please hit the like and subscribe. Bye bye now.